This model from Conrad is of a Potan MDT389 tower crane, and it's nice that the box has some technical details about the real crane. Pulling out the inside, and it's also good to see there's an instruction sheet, and that describes the assembly, although I'm not sure the mast orientation shown on the diagram is quite right. Looking inside, the parts are tightly packed to try and keep the overall size of the box reasonable. For the assembly we'll do what you often have to do and that is start at the bottom and work your way up. There's a simple cruciform base which has got some plastic feet and the tower gets built up with a number of mast sections. These pin together and they rely on friction to make a good connection. It works reasonably well and at least the connections are not unsightly. Each tower section is cast as a double length so you can't realistically show a section of mast used for climbing. For stability there are two big counterweight blocks to add at the bottom, although they're not actually solid and they are hollowed out inside. One issue with the pinned connections is you might find traces of glue or paint, and these can affect the straightness of the tower so if you have that it's best to clean those off. However overall it is possible to get a tower which is quite straight, and with some gentle adjustment you can get a tower which looks pretty good. Out of the box the topmost section also has the climbing frame attached, and you can slide that down if you want. You can build the tower to a number of different heights and then it's time to add the cab mast, and that's got the cabin attached. There's a large vertical axle which you have to push into place, and that was actually quite stiff and hard to do on the review model. Next we add on the hoisting winch which comes with its own platform, and that simply clips on behind the cab. Next comes the counter jib and we install that using the giant hand mobile crane. And the bottom connection is a simple hook over, and then we can drop the ties into place. They are pinned connections which is good because it gives the model some solidity, and there are two of them to fit. This is a 1 to 87 scale model and three sections of jib are provided, and that enables the full 75 meter length of the real crane to be reproduced. So to assemble the jib we'll add on the trolley first, and we can just slide that over the open end, and then the sections of jib are joined together with a simple interlocking connection. This is simple model engineering but it is implemented very well because it does make an excellent straight join. So our model looks laid back at this point but then we'll add on the main jib, and then it leans forward somewhat aggressively. So to keep things in balance we need some counterweight and that's cast as a big single block and that just drops in at the back. The last job to do is to add the hook and we can take some thread off of the hoist drum and then just follow the rope path in the instructions. The counterweight blocks have got some ribbing in the casting to represent separate slabs, and the mast sections have got plastic ladders and platforms, although the climbing frame doesn't have any hydraulic ram equipment modelled. The premium ultra view cab is nicely detailed considering the small scale. There's a cabinet behind the cab and there are plastic handrails on the decks. The unique shape of the MDT counter jib has been captured well, and the Potan name is on the counterweight walkway. The trolley is plastic and it's got a man basket. The hook is metal as are all of the tiny pulleys on the model. One thing that really stands out though is the straightness of that long jib. The 389 is one of the MDT CCS cranes shown at the Baumer exhibition in 2016. CCS is the crane control system which Potan says gives the crane higher performance. In addition to a jib length of 75 meters, the crane can be configured to lift up to 16 tons as a maximum. In terms of features, the climbing frame can be left off the model or positioned at the bottom of the mast. And if you hold the model carefully, you can rotate the crane. But you do need to be careful as the crane has been designed to withstand high winds and not giant hands. The trolley can be positioned by hand anywhere along the jib, although some weight is needed on the hook to keep it hanging properly. 
Here we've added 30 grams onto the hook and that helps keep the lines taut when you turn the winch. A small key is provided and you can use that to turn the winch. And you just need to be careful that vigorous winding doesn't dislodge the winch platform. Even though this is a 1 to 87 scale model it's still large so let's get the tape out. And full height is about 28 inches or 70 centimetres. And if we go from end to end, it's about 44 inches or 110 centimetres. It's been a few years since the last new tower crane model. And Conrad have done a good job with this one because it looks great on the skyline. It would have been nice if the counterweight block had been split to balance short jib configurations. But overall this is a nice looking modern tower crane. And it's certainly good enough to be recommended.